All right, promises made, promises kept. Hi, everyone. It's 28 here, or Mr. 28, but decided to go the more formal route. Founder and CEO of 28 Games, crazy, ambitious, cleanly, historic. How y'all doing? Hope you're all doing really, really well. So we're getting through this Saturday, getting ready to get into Sunday. It's 644, 1844 hours. Again, you know, I hope you're all doing really, really well. It's been a while since I've updated you, so, you know, I want to let you know what's going on with my mother and everything in between. Uh, well... It's touch and go with her, as you know, and uh, this morning wasn't too hot. Uh, she, I woke up probably after 7 o'clock, um, which I usually wake up at about 8.30. I aim to wake up at 8.30, you know, to get her to get her off to work or church or whatever the case may be. And I was woken up to what it sounded like, sounded like a stomping sound, stomp, 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 you know, and my heart starts racing because I've been here, I've been, 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 uh, been here before, done it before. Uh, it's not fun, you know, not good for my health, you know, because I got blood pressure problems, uh, heart problems on my dad's side of the family, so I got to try to keep it calm, stress free, you know, all that. Um, and then it evolved into a bang, 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 bang. Uh, you know, like a cadence, you know, like uh, fireworks or a gunshot cadence. Well, not just that, but, you know, uh, like dr in drill, they use the word cadence. But um, I could tell where it was. It was e easily in the kitchen. Um, it sounded like she was banging on the countertop, which she's done before. And uh, I just thought to myself, no, uh-uh, no, no, no. I I'm not going to deal with this. I'm getting too old for this. Uh... Uh, you know, it's a bunch of a bunch of BS. You know, I know what she does. Uh, other people don't get it. They don't understand. Uh, even family doesn't because they're not here. You know, they don't see the things that I do. And, uh, pardon me, I'm a little bit stuffy here. It's, uh, it was a little warmer today. You know, it gets cold outside. It gets dry on the inside. So we don't have our pellet stove on yet. Or I don't have my uh, space heater on because we got space heater. They don't have that on right now. But I'm, I'm a little bit stuffy, so... Hopefully I'm audible enough, and, and and I think I am. You know, uh, yeah, I'm getting definitely getting more comfortable doing this. You know, I like this format. You know, where you can see more of me, not just my head. Um, you know, know that I am a person. You know, with carbon and chemicals, and uh, a lot of ambition, a lot of drive, a lot of hope for 2025. Hoping that I'm going to get this contract deal fulfilled here, 10 million dollar contract deal with what I call a. Uh, uh, 0.5% uh, incentive or annuity, which is annuity uh, guaranteed income. You know, I'm hoping that that happens. But to my mother, back to my mother, I should say, she did it for a while. Uh, you know, it didn't, you know, she was in it for too, too long. Uh, you know, I woke up, she seemed to be fine, didn't hear anything, stop. And I, I, I know what she does. I know when she does it, you know, I know she's going to try to hide it to keep it hearsay. You know, and that's why someone who I talked to, uh, this was last year, uh, later in later in 2023, said, you know, you might want to keep, no, actually, you know what, no, it was later this, earlier this year, in April, March, into April, said, you know, you should keep a couple of cameras around to collect evidence. Um, we do have ring cameras, for those of you who don't know what ring cameras are, they're very, very helpful here in the States. I don't think they sell them internationally, I think they're just in the States. Um, but they're little cameras, you know, you can get them battery operated power cord you can plug them in uh and just you know they uh, connect them to your phone you know you sign up for an account that'll keep all footage if something happens you know like uh for flood insurance uh, insurance purposes or maybe you need to get something uh a burglary a break-in you get that information to the cops they know it's they happen they know it's hearsay so that's what ring cameras are really really helpful for and we had a few of them uh not one in my room my sister has one in her room we had one in uh, my parents' bedroom, master bedroom, which probably got destroyed along with many, many other things, because that's what my mother was when, you know, my sister got guardianship and we got out of here back in July 2021. whole bunch of crap, got, uh, not crap, I shouldn't say crap. So much got destroyed. So, so much. I, I mean, it's freaking nuts how much of this house has been destroyed. You, and if you walked in... And I apologize for jumping around. Um, I don't want this bit. Don't. I sound Scottish there a little bit. Um, um, you know, if you walked in the side entrance, kitchen, refrigerator, bathroom, hallway, straight ahead, uh, breakfast nook, kitchen, uh, sink, cabinetry, stove, ceramic glass top. So, you look on the. All you're gonna do is turn to the left. You'll see there's a bunch of where it's been. 
uh, spackled, you know, uh, and that's basically to cover up holes that my mother did. It's on the floor, it's on the walls, it's on the ceiling, it's on the glass. Pretty much, it's even in my room, you know. Uh, when I'm pointing to, I'm pointing to my entertainment center. Uh, if you were to look at what I'm pointing at, there's a piece of duct tape on here because my mother came in here and whacked that. Because basically, she, when I was in here, she came in here, had an episode, uh, went to basically went from zero to 100. I know she did. I know she did because I see the damage. Came in here, went zero to 100, got sad, then angry, rage, put a hole in my wall, a dent. Uh, I'm pointing to my corner wall. Uh, where my guitar would have been, my Esteban guitar. I had a guitar case over there, which I did play a little bit. And there's some scratches, there's a whole bunch of marks over there too. My mother doesn't like to talk about it. She will brush it under the rug. Uh, she's got a problem. Okay, straight up. She's got a problem. She does need a guardian. Uh, I am not in the financial means to do anything of that right now, as is lawyers. I don't want to say all lawyers suck, okay, uh, but they ain't easy to get a hold of. They're not. They are not. You know, you got to get through their uh, para, uh, their paralegal or invo uh, uh, excuse me, intake. And if you get through intake, because some of, some of it's so freaking ridiculous, they'll make you pay. Like I know there's this one law firm here in my uh, my state. Make you pay a freaking five hundred dollar fee before they can decide to take their your case. That is ridiculous. One hundred and ten percent ridiculous. That's collecting revenue. As far as I'm concerned, that's a freaking tax. If you have any legal problems and you encounter a law firm or lawyer like that, where they have ask you to pay a $500 fee, don't do it. That is ridiculous. 110% ridiculous. You know, if you're trying to get legal help, you want to go to pro bono. But uh, as Charge DCA told me when we were talking a while ago, they probably won't want to do it because it's free. It's free, so they're not getting paid. People are obligated to do things if there is a dollar sign involved. Straight up. If you want to learn anything about this game, Project Alive, what I'm doing, because I'm advertising a real game, right, through these vlogs, journal entries, entries, everything like that, which, by the way, they're up on YouTube, Instagram, you want to take a look at those, and thank you so much, you'll appreciate that. Um, you know, this game's about money. It, it is. It's a money game. It's a profit game. People learn to make money, make profit. If you're a business, as my father said so many times, people are in business to make money. And they are. And, you know, that's that's very true. But as far as lawyers are concerned, if you are having a legal problem, you got to go to pro bono first. It is not a guarantee. Okay? It is not a guarantee they are going to take your case. They will toss it. If it is not does not yield enough profit for them, they will not take it. What they will take is personal injury, Insurance, because people drive like crap, so insurance companies are raking it in. These and these lawyers are raking it in because so many people need lawyers for that reason. Also, divorce. If one, two, three cases like that will probably be taken. Uh, as far as family law, uh, family law, you know, uh, guardianship, everything like that. Guardian, guardianship. I, I don't know. I just, I just tend to think in my state that you know, it's they don't, they don't believe in it. I've said that in my head so many times. When I tried to do, and which backfired. It was horrible. You know, I, I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. You know, trying to get my mother uh, a guardian, but you need money for that, and you need money for absolutely everything. I won't get into politics, okay? But uh, inflation sucks right now. The economy sucks right now. People are struggling. People need help. They don't have the help that they need. Okay, and I do apologize. My voice is raised a little bit. I'm venting. You know, kind of feels good. Um, but, you know, there's so much that's wrong. If you want to call this game agent, okay, which is what I'm calling it, my version of GTA 6, or Project Alive, my little story, my little journey, there's so much wrong with so much. There's so much wrong with everything. That's crazy. It's crazy the things you, you'll hear nowadays. And it just all goes. It's like everything in this world is condoned and nothing is condemned. If people get a slap on the wrist, oh, you killed someone? Okay, oh, you're fine. You're free to go. You know? And, it, and it's, it, that's the thing. This is all a part of the game. It is all a part of the game. You know? It, it, it really, really is. All, everything I'm saying, and as far as the journal entries are concerned, 
Thank you so, so much for watching those. It means everything to me. I appreciate it, whether it's via the uh, medium of, or the touch point of uh, Instagram or YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. I appreciate it so, so much. I really, really do. All of you are helping me become a name and a brand. And get me closer to 2025, which we are. I can't believe it. It's going to be Halloween soon. Thanks, Kim and Chris. Goes by quick. It really, really does, man. It goes by so, so quick. Next thing you know, I'm going to be 34. My mother's going to be 55. My grandmother's going to be 83. My cousin Jessica's going to be 35. My other cousin Samantha's going to be, what, 37? Uh, my youngest cousin Emma is going to be 21. Uh, my aunt will be 58. My aunt Patty, the one who I talk about a lot, who goes to the shooters. You know, um, where I had the incident and backed into the curve. Well, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen again. But it was because of rain. Rain gives you anxiety driving, you know, rain, snow, sleet. Uh, I do get uh, anxiety doing that. But you know what? And I got <laughs> anxiety a little bit now, so I do apologize for that. Hope everything is transmitting well, translating well. Uh, you know, audible enough for you. Um, yeah, four years ago, man, I couldn't do this. I, I just... You know, hi, this is XSV Triple Y speaking. No, it just no. <laughs> you know, I couldn't get in front of a camera. I could barely get in front of this phone because it freaking shuts down so many times. Though I will say it hasn't shut down a lot. It's only shut down twice today, so oh, that's good. Part of the course for me. <laughs> Man, I've been through so, so much. You know, I know everyone has, but, you know, my sister and everything like that. That's why. Oh, something, no use crying over spilt milk. Oh, my phone dies 20 times. I'm still using it. I'm still doing my videos. I'm still putting on those GTA 6 concepts. I'm still putting up Mind's Eye Update. Benzies and his team got that up. You know, congratulations on that. Good to see some movement on that. Love to see something on GTA 6. But, hey, you know what? I'm actually a part of that. But you are too. We all are. It's like we're all conceptualists making this game together. And it's just rolling and rolling and rolling. And we are rolling it forward, right, to 2025. And, you know, 2025 feels like it's going to be a really, really big year. They're saying the game is out in 2025. Well, it's no Trailer 2, but I think it's going to be a Trailer 2 December. Makes sense. I think what Rockstar is going to do. You know, you know, Rockstar are very secretive. They got their ways. They got their way, way of doing things. They do know what they're doing, you know. Now, I'm going to say the Housers know what they're doing, Benzie knows what they're doing, and even and Strauss, Strauss the Elder, you know, he knows he's been in this game for a long, long time. You know, he's been in that position for a long, long time. And I got a lot of respect for him. I got a lot of respect for the Housers. I know Dan, you know, he's off, Dan Houser's off on his own thing with uh, Absurd Ventures. You know, congratulations to all of you, you know. You guys are all doing great, great stuff, and I do support it. I really do. Thank you for your support of me, you know. And, uh... You know, I just want to see this happen, you know. This $10 million thing. You, you, you know how much I'll cry? You know how wonderful that'll be? Because if I die, something happens to me. That go, money goes into my estate. goes right to my mother. goes to her. You know, just think of it that way. Plus, I, I, plus I do need a lot of help. That a regular job will... will I, I mean, I do work. I just don't get paid for it. I'm a chauffeur. I take my mother everywhere. I drive her to and from work. Tonight, we're going to Walmart. She's gonna be getting uh another picture remember the vlog uh in 2022 i showed you when i went i came here i'd come here when my sister my mother was visiting my sister uh, at our local school uh the uh, little uh field there adjacent to the school i'd come here check on things i'd have a little break so i'd have time i'd see how house was doing see how maxine our main coon cat was doing she's doing good aside from being in heat and howling all over the place she's gonna be 10 next year i'd come back here and i this is when I could actually use my phone without a charging cable. And I'd go all around my house and say, okay, look at this, mother, mother. And I was in the kitchen because I was looking at the cabinet. And this is when I found a big uh, chip mark all the way in the cabinet. Next to that cabinet was my refrigerator. And on that refrigerator on the left door was a picture of my father and my mother, the picture they took. And I took of them the maple, the maple tree that they were standing in front of in our backyard. Um which my mother used to honor my father in his services, his wake and his funeral. That picture is what we're going to Walmart for tonight to replace, which, mind you, my mother has replaced eight times, seven or eight times, as I said in my journal entries today. Um, 
for one reason or from having episodes. From flipping out, throwing things all over the place, and that is what she did. That is what she did. That is no exaggeration. That is no joke. Might be funny to look at, and believe you me, it is. Because <laughs> I've seen it many, 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 many times, and it's the most ridiculous thing. She's got psychosis. She's got a problem. Mentally ill. Um, but she took that picture, which we're replacing tonight, bent it up out of shape every time, and then we have a whole bunch of pictures of my father's family on there. It gives my mother peace to look at that, you know. She's replaced those so many times because she's gone all over the place. She's gone nuts, gone crazy, and all the devil this, the devil that, you know, uh, which she still does. She actually called the pizza that I ordered from Domino's last night the devil. Don't even ask. Don't even ask. Ugh. Crazy. But, you know, we had a whole, a whole bunch of pictures of my father's family. My, uh, my father's side of the family, my father, you know, my uncles, my father when they were younger. But yeah, she's destroyed those, bent them up all out of shape, and said, and will come to me and say, "Oh, I bent them up at something happened them, happened with them again." No kidding, you got in a rage and bent them up out of shape. You did this. Come on now. Mm. Pardon me. It's crazy, you know. Hope you got all that. <laughs> I'm trying to speak fast so this video doesn't get up to 20 minutes. Mm. Excuse me. Pepsi, Pepsi, Coke. Uh, we can work on that. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. It's 7.01, 1901 hours right now. So I leave at 7.15 to pick up my mother. Um, sometimes she's ready. It used to be she ship got out at 8, but she's been getting out at 7, 7.30. And there's my cat. Here, she's howling. She's been in and out of heat. And our other Maine Coon, Minnie, you know, she did the same thing. So I'm wondering if it's just an age thing. But she has, you know, she'll spot, she'll kind of pee everywhere. Uh, she hasn't done that on our couches, our big couch and our chair, armchair in our living room, which I just checked. So she's been in and out of that. I think it's her age. She's going to be 10 years old, like I said earlier, next year. Um, but yeah, you know, typically I pick up my mother at uh, 7, 7.30. If she isn't ready, I hang out in the parking space. You get her home. You always hear me saying scioning everywhere. You know, I do these little things just to juice up my writing. What that means is take a travel, take it for a drive in the scion. I think you figured that out. It's figuring out how she's going to be. And I never know what I'm going to get with her. I never, never know. You know, I can tell what it's going to be like if I look at her face and she's all, you know, like that, you know, stone faced. Uh, or she gets in the car, starts off talking. I can usually tell by the tone in her voice that she gets quiet. Like, kind of eerily quiet. And then she'll turn to the passenger door of the Scion. And do that. And then she'll do it all the way home. So, you know, she usually sends me two updates. She sent me updates today. Usually one is for her lunch. Second one's a 15-minute break before four. And she's got to get the caddies ready with the cups, put them in the dining room, get them ready for the residents there at the nursing home, rehab center. Um, you know, she gives me peace. It gives me peace if she talks, if she sends updates. If she doesn't, I think something's right. I think something's wrong. Then I get anxious, then I get anxiety, then I go fight or flight, 0 to 50, 50 to 100. Like, what's going on? Why aren't you, why aren't you texting me? text me let me know what's going on i know what you do you know i hope that's not getting anyone's anxiety up you know that's why i always try to my mother comes home she needs some downtime she doesn't like things to be loud you know because obviously she's been through a hell of a lot you know and she has you know there's no doubt about that but there's a lot that could have been avoided if those mediums jillian and carolyn did not come in this house, open a whole can of worms, open up Pandora's box. That's what all, all, so much of this could have been avoided if that didn't happen. She did have trauma, okay, when my father died, which everyone does, everyone handles it differently. Grief, you gotta go through grief, gotta go through all those five, six phases of grief, you know, bargaining, all that, you know, um, denial, guilt. I know bargaining is one, I think denial is the second one. Bargaining is definitely one of them. Um, you know, 
And, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's what anxiety does. <sighs> Take a breath. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but, yeah. That's what anxiety does. Fortunately, she doesn't yell and scream at me anymore. That doesn't happen. It's good. But the other things do happen. The stomping, the yelling, all that. And it's like, it's tough. It's really, really tough to have to, to listen to it. It's tough to see it. It's sad to see it. Because I look at that picture of my mother at the beach with her, my aunts, when they were all young. She was five years old and, and guessed at me. It makes me sad. It's not fair. If she would have just handled it differently, if she wouldn't have not depended on these psychic mediums, and just straight up went to church. If she wanted to go to church, she had no one to go to. She said, you know, I wanted to go, but there's no one I could have went with. If she did that and didn't do the psychic medium thing, it'd be fine. She'd be a normal churchgoer. Praise God. Amen. You know, you know, Job, uh, Exodus, uh, Galatians, Philippians, whatever the case may be. Okay? Uh, Repentant, whatever. You know, she could do it. She could do it. It wouldn't be a problem. But she had to do the psychic medium thing, and it, excuse my language, it fucked her up. Big time. It did. It will never be the same. And it upsets me so much. Like, get out of your own way. Don't do that. You know better. Don't do that. Don't, don't ever do it again. Why'd you do it? Don't ever do it again. You're better than that. Self-sabotage. Don't look down on yourself. Only thing I want to hear coming out of your mouth is you're beautiful. I'm beautiful. Because you are beautiful from the inside out. And that is my mother. That is who she is. Her eyes. I look at her at the dinner table. You see it. You see it. And you see what's real with me too. I cry a lot. Oh, we're missing my dad, my sister, everything. And that's why I want this to happen. I do want to get paid this money. Oh my god damn, it would be amazing. Really. It'd be like it'd be history. And I do believe I am still gonna get paid it. Absolutely I do. Because you don't give up on a dream or ambition. Ambition lives on and it gets bigger. And the wonderful thing about this in GTA 6 is that we're being given the power to have that ambition and to brainstorm the game and to be the conceptualist and look at Rockstar and say, okay, you're giving us the power, you're giving us the key, here's how it should be. The GTA community has come together, has band together to do this. And it really is great. You know, Project uh, Vice over there, he's on, you don't follow him, he's on X and Instagram. Puts up all these concepts, you know, concepts from uh, the GTA 6 on uh, Thread uh, uh, page on uh, Reddit. It's great stuff. The Jason Lucia, you know, all that. Everything in between. It, it's great. These are some talented people. You should work in the game industry. They do such a damn good job. But you did a good job of staying, in the, in, in, staying with me. If you did, thank you so, so much. Okay, 1708, 1908. I'm going to wrap this up right here. I'm Aaron Fowler, CEO. X28 Games. Crazy Business Columbia Store. 28, Mr. 28, whichever you want to call me. Best yet to come. Be well, be safe about your vision. You love your loved ones. Always let them know they want to hear it from you. Or you want to hear it from them. Best yet to come. Okay, stay safe. Stay tough. Stay in the fight. I'm going to be back with so much more. Okay. Um, there's far more to see than the, than the I Meets Project Alive. This is history in the making. And by the way, to Luke, you said I'm the future of AAA gaming. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. God bless. I appreciate that. It really helps me out a lot. 271 subscribers on YouTube. Oh, more is to come. All right, you all take it easy. Take care. Bye-bye.